Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I will be showing you how I made this cool lighter from some scrap laying around the workshop. So for today's project I'm going to find a use for these old bronze valve guides I've been saving from jobs in the past. I'm going to use this selection of scrap metal to create a handy lighter. I'm going to start by cutting one rectangular piece out of this old brass hinge. Now the first piece is all cut out, I'm going to square it up in the mill. I'm going to swap it round and repeat the process. So now I have some square edges to work from, I'm going to cut it in half and then reface the two edges. I'm going to use these two pieces for the top and the bottom of my lighter. I'm going to drill two through holes through this piece and two counterbore holes through this piece. I'm going to glue the top and bottom together to help me hold them so I can machine them identical in the milling machine. I'm using this piece of stock brass and a milling cutter to help me line the holes up. Now it's time to reshape the top and the bottom piece. That's the top and the bottom complete. The next step is to make the fuel tank out of this old valve guide. Now I'm over by the lathe, I'm going to start by putting an internal thread inside the valve guide. Now to turn the outside diameter down to the correct size so it fits inside the top brass piece. Time to flip it round and repeat the process. Now to shorten the valve guide, then reface the main piece.
With the top, the bottom and the fuel tank complete, I will now move on to making the wick housing. This piece of stock brass will soon become the wick housing. I'm going to start by turning a section down and cutting a thread into it. Now to drill the wick hole, doing this in two stages, starting with the centre drill. Now to part off the piece, flip it round and start machining the top of the wick housing. I've got the piece flipped around in the chuck, I'm going to repeat the same process to cut the thread in it as I did in the first half. Time to bore out the top for the wick. That's the wick housing complete. I'm very happy with how the lighter is starting to look. Next I will be machining the cap for the top of the wick housing. This will also be used to extinguish the lighter. Here I have an identical valve guide, the same as what I used to make the fuel tank out of. I'm going to put an internal thread inside it. Now the bottom of the cap is threaded. I'm going to remove this piece of metal here and then reface this. Now I'm parting off the cap from the guide. Next I'll be using a piece of this stock brass to plug the hole in the guide. This is the piece of stock brass I'm going to use to make the bung for the cap. Here I am assembling both pieces of the cap. The final step of the cap is to reface the outside diameter and part it off. Now the lid is complete, next I will make the sparking mechanism. This is the piece of stock I'm using for the sparking mechanism. The first step is to drill it out. Now the hole's drilled, I'm going to reface the piece of stock down to the correct size. Now the flint housing is all parted off, I've remounted it in the chuck the other way round. I'm going to drill a hole in the end and cut a thread into it. I'm over by the milling machine, I'm going to drill the hole for the pin to hold the flint wheel. I'm just going to mill out the slot for the flint wheel.
That's all the machining complete. Now for the final assemble. So there you have it, a fully functioning lighter made from two old valve guides and some scrap brass. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it.